Before caught up with Alison Hale, Principal Consultant and Founder of Oxford Professional Consulting, to find out what we can expect to hear from them at Business in Oxford 2017. Alison, good morning. morning. Thank you for joining us on B4 TV. Alison, you talk and coach leaders in all sorts of fields and back, from all sorts of backgrounds. What, in your opinion, makes a great leader? Well, that's quite a tricky question <laughs> for early in the morning, Richard. Um, but I'd say one thing is to have a vision. And I think another thing is energy. Um, if you're leading other people, you need to have you need to be full of energy and enthusiasm for what you're going for. Another thing I'd say is communication skills and people skills, because actually it's not about how you talk to the media as much as how you actually talk to your own people and how you talk to stakeholders in a big presentation, for instance. Um, how many is that? I think that's for three or four. And the fifth one, oh, what can I say? Um, well, it's being able to see the big picture because um, we've often talked before about small businesses and small businesses often start with somebody who's very good at, in one technical field and for them to look at the big picture is quite a stretch. So for people who work at the top of Unilever or a big company like that, they're used to looking at the big picture. But for some of the people who I work with, when they're new in leadership or new thinking about leadership, they're not used to thinking about the big picture. So I think that's a very important element. So are great leaders, are they born natural leaders or do they become leaders? Can someone that's necessarily, well, you, you talked about smaller businesses leading a smaller business. Can that individual that is great leading that business make the transition to being a Sir Richard Branson or a Lord Sugar? Is that possible? Well, I'm sure it is because when Lord Sugar started off, he wasn't at that point, was he? And he was probably just somebody who was very good or had a vision. So I think they're certainly uh, made as well as born, if that's a question. Um, yes, I, I certainly think that you can, you can uncover your leadership. And in fact, I think everybody's a leader because after all, we say you lead your life, we don't say you follow your life. <laughs> Um, so everybody's a leader in their own lives and when we're talking to other people um, in a presentation for instance we're the leader in that moment aren't we because we're the one who has the information ready to spread it to other people so I think in lots of different situations in life we do lead even if we never think of ourselves as a leader but I think in business you do and if you are leading a company or leading a division or leading a department, you do have to have that sense of bringing people with you. You have to be able to engage them and you have to be able to listen to them so that you can engage them in a way that fits what they're actually interested in. And a lot of what you do is unlocking the skills that we might not think we've got in our, in our toolkit necessarily to help us become good leaders. Yes, absolutely. I think it's the uncovering the leadership skills. Also, as you know, because of the work that you and I have done together, it's about communication because you can't lead others if you're not able to communicate, if you're not able to speak well, uh, if you're not able to listen, if you're not. And, and the work that we do, that I do, that I specialize in is leadership communication. And that's one to many, as in talking to all your stakeholders in a, in a room full of people, or it's your one to one conversations with your own team, with your own staff, listening to people as well as speaking to people. And it's also about how you, the impression that you give, your leadership presence, those things also communicate to others. And would you, would you say it's true maybe a bit dramatic to say, but would you say if someone isn't bringing out those leadership attributes of theirs and that potential, and they're suppressing that leadership ability of theirs, are they in some way potentially damaging their business by not unlocking that potential? Well, I think they're certainly not optimizing the potential of the business and their own business if they are uh, suppressing, as you say. I think um, very often it wouldn't be as conscious as suppressing it, but not releasing it. It's the same thing, really, isn't it? A little bit like learning to drive and accessing the rest of the country, becoming 
a better leader enables you to do more things, obviously. Yes, of course. And as you say, it's the big picture, yeah. you know, the whole country. We're very lucky to have you again at Business in Oxford this year. I think that's the third year, the third consecutive year that you'll be presenting. Now, you've chosen to speak in the leadership seminar. What areas will you, will you be touching on in, in the seminar, in your talk? Well, it's an interesting question, Richard, because I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to be speaking on. Um, last year, I talked about advanced presentation skills. And um, I think it's a shame if people uh, come to my talk again this time and hear the same thing. So I certainly won't be doing exactly the same. Um, it will be something either in the, the one of these three areas, either leadership presence or it will be advanced presentation skills of some kind, but different from last year, um, or it will be the one-to-one -one conversations because that's so important. If you're going to speak to large groups, you have to actually know what people think. And how are you going to know what people think if, you don't, if you're not able to have a good one-to-one -one conversation or a good one-to-small group conversation? So I think I may be talking about that area. Excellent. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you in May. And if any of our viewers are keen to unlock their leadership potential or, or use your, you, your skills in other areas, such as you've helped our business significantly with training the team and creating a bit more of a vision for the whole team. So how can uh, viewers get in contact with you and find out more about how you can help their team? Well, the easiest way would be through our website, which is oxfordprofessionalconsulting.com or for a shorter address, uh, opcoxford, all one word, dot com. Excellent. Do it that way. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time.